Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Kidderade5, and I am back. Another installment of my Let's Play Operation Strike Back, Pokemon Operation Strike Back. Um, and, uh, we're here with the final episode with pretty much. He's over there. Doesn't want to talk right now. He's very focused on his basketball game. <laughs> um, but, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, um, talk to this person since we did, I did, um, the leader of the Rocket Boss Giovanni. Alright, so I can face Rocket Boss Giovanni right now. Should be waiting for you in there. Good luck. Uh-oh. So you think you can walk into my team and dethrone me in a matter of days? I'd like to see you try. Hmm. We'll, we'll see. We'll just see. Dog Trio, level 38. Oh, by the way, they took away my, uh, wheezing because, uh, they added shame into my team, I think. Because of what I, yeah. You're so much higher level than that. We'll see. So I always probably won't do too much, though. Oh, uh, it does about half. We, we aren't affected by Mutt Bomb, though, because we do have Levitate, so that's good. And Psy Wave. Uh, dang it. Mud Bomb isn't going to affect us, though, so that's good. And uh, let's go ahead, Psy Wave, you. And, uh, down goes the Doug Trio. Um, we're gonna gain some experience. And, uh, Rhydon's gonna be the next one in. And I guess we'll bring in Courtney. I wonder if this is, like, his final team from, uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, cause if it is, that'd be interesting. We are gonna Meg Mega Drain this thing. Hopefully gonna do a decent amount, at least. Uh, and it does, in fact, one shot, so that's good. Um, energy is drained from the ride on. So is this the final thing in the game? Yeah. Anyways, uh, Kangaskhan is gonna be the next one in. And I guess we'll bring in Cuddle, cause why not? I guess. Um. And there it is, level 42 though, that's pretty scary. Um, I'll foul play it actually, because that might do more damage. Um, that's doing a decent amount of damage. Chip away, see how much it does. Oh wow, that almost does half. Um. Oh, dizzy punch! Please don't confuse me. Don't confuse me, please. All right, it's in. That's good. There we go. Foul play. We'll take this thing out now. And down goes the Kangaskhan. And uh, we'll gain that experience. Uh, Needle Queen's gonna be the next one in. Ooh, I don't know who to use. I guess we'll use Fantina. Cause why not? Um, let's see here, Psy Wave. Um, it does a decent amount. Oh god, this is gonna be long, I can already tell. Wait, what Pokemon is this Ace? Uh, I think it was this Kangaskhan, we already beat that, so that's oh. good. We're gonna see how much Psy Wave does. I'm only speeding this up because it's gonna be a little bit tedious with this Needle Queen here, as we miss the, uh, Psy Wave. Um, Almost gonna take it out. One more should definitely take it out. Um, unless we miss, obviously. Um, and there we go. Down goes the Nido Queen. And I'm guessing Nido King is gonna come in next. No, Persian's gonna come in next. We can definitely switch out into, uh... Let's go Shaman. I know it's lower leveled. Oh god, this is level 44. Oh god. And he evaded the attack. Alright, thank you. At least doing a little bit here. Uh, Magical Leaf, we'll see how much. Power Gem takes us out, that crits. Which should stay on there for the boys. Yeah. Oh. That's why I, I wanted it. Farfang. We don't actually outspeed, though. Oh my god. We could lose this quite easily, to be honest. Um, Psy Wave, I guess. It's just gonna outspeed us and Power Gem us. So Cart needs our last hope. Are there Cord uh, let's go poison powder and we're just gonna be that. Oh god, but nasty pot's gonna kill us. This is gonna be annoying. Uh, Mega Drain, I guess. Power gem. Oh, that does a lot of damage. We are gonna get a lot of HP back though. <laughs> Chip damage for the win. And down goes the Persian. All right. Uh, yeah, it is because well, it's a poison it type. Isn't ground? True. Oh, that oh, does yeah. a lot of damage. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna hope for it to con- Yeah, it confuses itself here. We have to- 
Yo, we can do this. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> that was crazy. That was actually nerve wracking. I didn't want you to lose. I, I know. Very well, congratulations. Hope you'll you'll be able to lead this team where I couldn't before. Here, here's your final badge. I guess only the leader may hold this. Dang, that's that's gold. It You're is golden. golden. Quit eyeballing the Pokemon. We get to pick. Please hand over your current party. You mean six Pokemon? No, so you get. Now you get uh, Giovanni's team. I see. All right. Ooh, Rhyperior. Uh, yeah. Let's name it. Uh, Oh. No, I'm going to name it Wall Maria. Shout out to Attack on Titan. Space. I know this is kind of tedious, guys. I apologize. But, uh, let's go ahead. Well, let's not bring up how long the puzzle took until you realize that it only yeah. goes up to 9. Yeah. Until we realize that it only goes up to 9, exactly. There you go. And you made choose. Alright. Rhyperior, Needle King, Needle Queen. Needle Queen. No. I too prefer the Persian game. Steelix Doug Trio. Tauros Marowak. That's it? Mm. Those aren't even that good. Yeah, they really aren't. I, take, I like I take Nino King Queen. And Nino Kang, if you can take both of them. Yeah, we probably can. I'm gonna take Marowak. And we have tweets back. Tweets. Uh from so long ago we have tweets back finally. There we go. E E T S. There we go. We have tweets. Uh, go back. You have to go up one of the Nito. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going Nito King here. Um, obviously for King. me, there there's only one name for Nito King, and it is Henry. King Henry. Oh God. Yeah. Oh, that's why you're Nito right now. Was named that in Pokemon Go. <laughs> I don't even know if the microphone can hear you, so you might want to speak up just a little bit. Um, kind of like Steelix here. Is that four or three? That's four, including Rhyperior. You have Rhyperior. And then you have the... Uh, Nido King. And Nido King. Marowak. Alright, that's my fourth. Thank you. Uh, we're going to name you Jasmine. Stainless. Jasmine, it's a woman. Oh, it's a female. Yeah, definitely Jasmine then. Um, where's the J? J A Jazz Min. There we go. So there's we get two more. Doug Trio. Kinda like Doug Trio here. I kinda like Tauros here though. I what really, should I name Tauros? Speaking of that, I really wanted Tauros in Pokemon Go. Same. What should I name it though? Uh, what's that thing called? Like the thing in where they go. Ole. Ole. Call Ole. Yeah, I'll call it Ole. Because I forgot what's called that bull spore where they're trying to like, kill it. Oh, the racing the in the bulls or something. The red red. In Barcelona. Yeah. Right, we'll name it Ole. Messy. Ole the Tauros. And we get one more. We can I'd ask to Nido Queen. Or Doug Trio. Nido Queen or Doug Trio. Persian would be cool though. I don't think we already cool. have enough. Oh. So I think I'll go Nido Queen. And then, of course, we have Henry. We're gonna name Nido Queen. Uh, Victoria. O R I A. There we go. Victoria. Alright, and that was it. So there we go. Finish. There we go. Good choices all around. Have fun causing chaos with them. So I'm wondering what level they are. Leader objectives on the board in your office. So now we can go in our own office. They're all level 65. Um. Why aren't you dressed like a leader then? You're still girl. I don't know. Dang, this is my. Anyways, it's huge. It's huge. Hades Sanctum. Objective selected. Good luck out there. Oh god. 
We're ready to enter the distortion world. We have a rocket ball ready. In case of malfunction, we have two ready, sir. He's telling me we made at least locate a big gracie stone. Having the beast without the stone is almost useless. Also in our possession. What's the plan if both rocket balls fail? It's highly improbable, but if it comes to such a circumstance, we will have to neutralize Garantina with the power net. You idiot, you really expect the power net to work in the distortion world? It barely works in ours. I know it's not the most trustworthy option, but that's all we have left. Now, with all the boring planning out of the way, who exactly is going to capture Garantina? Oh, of course, I volunteer as the leader to do it. Very well, here, the rocket ball, sir. Alright. Um. I feel everyone can please step away from the center of the room. Thank you. Initializing link cable as the portal team is preparing to lost it. So many some important details. So if everyone please stick together, we cannot afford to lose someone in the forbidden sanctuary. Okay. Can we start? I'm waiting. Hello? Did the game crash? Are we just waiting? Um, I'm enabling the speed hack. Cause really, what is this? Did the game actually crash? What? We've just been sitting here forever. Does the game usually crash like this? Um, what's going on? I have no idea what's going on. Well, um, that was a short fifth episode, so I guess that's the finale of this series, you guys. Um, maybe it's a to be continued. Maybe that's where the game is at. Yeah, to be continued, I guess. And I'll see you guys next time. Or, well, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I should do my outro. You guys, I'm gonna get up out. This is Kitty Ray Fi signing out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a good day. Alright you guys, I am back, and uh, there is actually a patch, so I did uh, do that real quick so you guys can see it at the end of this episode. We do have everything except I accidentally hit Rhyperior twice <laughs> instead of once. You can obviously see we have different EVs and, I mean, IVs should I say. Uh, we can't see that right now, but anyways. Let's just go ahead and go into this, because uh, we can just go right into our room. And, um, and accept, uh, the Hades Sanctum. And I'll probably just skip all this dialogue. And hopefully it works. Um, guessing it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and speed through all of this. Because we did already read this earlier in the episode. So, um, yeah. Anyways, we'll just, uh, we'll just wait. And, um... Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, blah, 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 blah. Uh, one thing I did forget to say in this episode, uh, thank you to the Flaming Falcon, obviously, for doing this game. And thank you, uh, because pretty much in RP Gaming aren't here anymore. Thank you to those two for, um, uh, commentating, uh, or co-commentating this series with me, I guess. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead. Have the rocket balls, I guess. And, uh, let's go ahead. Now if everyone could please step away from the center of the room. Thank you. Alright. Initializing. Alright, I think... Explain some important details. First off, everyone please stick together. We can't afford to lose. Change where... Okay, I think this is where it's... Stop. Secondly, Garantina decides to come to us before we come to them and exit the building as quickly as possible. Finally, if all of our- Oh, this is me speaking. We want to fall behind. If we want this mission to be successful, we have to be prepared for anything. It's been our problem over the last couple of years. Visualization complete. Long live Team Rocket. Opening the portal between our world and the distortion worlds in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 4. Guarantee is coming to us. Evacuate the building. Oh, God. Archer says, I'm not leaving. We're too close to give up now. Please, sure. It's far too dangerous to be blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, if we were, uh, blah, blah, blah. Can, uh, if we, we can replace the headquarters, we can't replace lies. We said you'll have to. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. 
But Terrell, I told you. Dang. Bye bye, Patrell. Don't have time to pl to play the told you so game. C raid, use the rocket balls. So is the rocket balls pretty much a master ball or what? Cause this thing's level 60. And uh it is it is exerting its pressure, but anyways, let's go ahead and go into the bag. Let's see what these racket balls do. It's meant to replicate the catching power of a master ball. Let's let's use it. Let's see. Um yeah, he pretty much recolored it, I think. He recolored the skin because when it opened you could tell the master ball thing, so yeah. Anyways, that's pretty much a master ball. I'd like to give a nickname to Garantina. Nah. Transfer to someone's Oh wow, so we actually got it in the PC. Interesting. That was amazing. Such a powerful beast tame so fast. Imagine us using that on Mewtwo. We don't have to. Mewtwo's our next and final target. Soon the world will be on the knees begging to us. Have you guys forgotten and Petrell could be terribly hurt. He's dead. Move on with your day. <laughs> Dang. Are you just gonna play it off like nothing happened? One of our executives is dead. If you continue to question us, then consider your yourself a nice cozy seat back down at the grunt rank. No, sir, please, it took me years to get agent. Then get a move on. Yes, sir. Dang. Uh, well, I, I got all the way there. Not that much longer. Anyways. I want to see. Chaotic clones. Interesting. So let's go ahead. Uh, and go ahead. And everyone port to the main hall immediately. Anyways. Now today's a big day. If you use a Mewtwo being rolled, we will finally have its power in our grasp. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's see here. What voice should I do for this guy? Because I know I should be doing one. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people from the ranks Grunt and Under will die. Have you signed up for it? Moving on. We have recently located Mewtwo to be on an abandoned island on our radar show that he isn't alone. Who's with them? Probably other clone Pokemon. We'll start by sending in your recruits and grunts as fodder. Their jobs are to take out the clones and start weakening you two. Once that's underway, the agents and spies will follow in behind. That is where our attack on Mewtwo actually begins. The spies will emit a radio frequency that will drive Mewtwo insane. This will make his attacks much more powerful, but will weaken him much quicker. You're not leaving that island until we are until we are either dead or have me too in our team any questions good let's go dang sir the the radio frequencies aren't making him weaker only stronger ruh -roh. that's not good give it time we're just angering him which will cause it to waste more energy faster but it's been tearing through the fodder he said give it time all right anyways Ye yes sir all right it's time Time. <laughs> it's getting pretty bad up there. Mewtwo's gone insane, but on the bright side, all the clones are out of the way. I think it's time to stop the final clone. See you, Raid, when you're ready to finally take on Mewtwo and meet us up ahead. Well, pretty sure I am ready. I was born ready. See, Raid, are you ready to change the world once we have Mewtwo? The world's ours. Oh, God. God's too powerful. We didn't stand a chance. Are you guys sure about this plan? Are you going to give it up after. I'm so close, we dedicate blah, 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 blah. We've dedicated our lives, blah, blah, blah. You lot can leave if you choose. I'm getting the beast on our side. Oh, God. That was a bad decision. He's not going to stand a chance. I think fighting it made it stronger, not weaker. Um, Uh-oh. You're right. He is too strong even for the rocket ball. Sea Raid, you're our only hope. Faint him first, and then we will capture the beast. Good luck. Oh, my God. Wait, do we have a PC? Shouldn't play with it. <laughs> okay, so we can only talk to Mewtwo. Oh god. What's this? You're not Giovanni. I was hoping to get revenge on him once more. Knowing you're a heinous lifestyle, you clearly must be stronger. This time, Team Rocket will fall. Ooh, that music though, let's turn it off. Alright, so it's level 70. It looks like we need to faint him real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, use EQ. I mean, what else is there? Guard swap? Bro. Really? Actually, let's 
okay, because Juan Maria has better defenses, I'm guessing, but Amnesia is going to increase its special defense. We should be good, though. Um, I'm guessing by this, we're actually supposed to take him out. If not, then... I don't know, that might have been bad, a bad decision, but uh, right now it looks like we are supposed to, as we just did faint it, so we'll see what to do here. Um, that experience, though. And uh, we'll see. I underestimated your power. Uh-oh. Initiate capture sequence. Ah, have you fiends done enough to me? Not done enough to me? I'll never obey Team Rocket as long as, long as I live. Humans may have created me, but they will never enslave me. Oh god, that sprite. I just noticed that sprite. Mark my words. I will strike back. Og. <laughs> Did we really just do that? <laughs> After decades of work, we have, finally, we have finally captured Mewtwo. Unbelievable. I never thought it was possible. Perhaps it wasn't us, but our leader. See, Raid, honestly, thank you for everything. Now we can finally start Operation Strike Back. Uh-oh. Have you learned nothing? Team Galactic. Hey! Who made that prediction like two seconds before the guy actually came? You made it all this way and you have let to learn what you are doing is a mistake. You only say that because we've stolen three of the legendaries you were after. <laughs> Nonsense. I did not want them for my own personal gain, but for the betterment of the Sinnoh region. Impossible. You just wanted them for yourselves. Quit trying to get pity. If you don't believe me, fine. We wanted Darkrai to ensure that no one suffered from horrendous nightmares any longer and had a peaceful sleep. We wanted Shaman so that we may clean the Sinnoh region from the toxic chemicals us humans have released onto this world. However, we never want to guarantee no. We are pur purely had all the information in case it started acting up like it had once before. I don't believe you. Wo I, I change this guy's voice every single time. I don't believe a word you say, Cyrus. I never trusted you one bit, and now that we finally obtained me to you show up and try to snatch it from us. Not, not under my watch. Grunts, prepare to battle. That is not at all why I'm here, and I'm not alone. Oh, boy. Oh, God. If you don't want... Oh. You don't want me to, then why have you brought an army? Because I feared you wouldn't listen to me. Our only hope now is force. Perhaps then you will listen to us. Ha! You think you can take on all of us? We have an arsenal of legendary beasts. Who needs legendaries you can actually... Oh! Burn some of your Pokemon for some legendaries. You wanted the spies computers. When you're ready to battle, talk to Cyrus. We'll hold them off until then. Yo, how many legendaries do we actually have? Um... Let's move around our Pokemon. Okay then. 60, 50, 50, 50, 50, 60. Well then. Um, we already have level 65s. Um, I'm definitely going to pick up the Garantina for sure. We're going to move it in for our uh, second uh, Rhyperior. And then we'll pick up... Who else do we need? I kind of want Moltres just because hashtag Team Valor, but um, I kind of want Darkrai instead of Tauros. I guess it wasn't really the one that I was wanting. And with that, I think we'll probably be good. As much as I'd love to, uh, as much as I'd love to do more, but we already have, uh, we already have, oh, uh, what's its face? We already have level 65, so that's it, anyways. Finally, leader versus leader. Let's see what you're made of. Now the question is, is he actually strong? I'm guessing Flaming Falcon must have made him at least decent. I mean, otherwise what's the point to this? Anyways, he sends out a Houndoom level 61. Alright, interesting. That's why I definitely didn't want to get the level 50s. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and EQ here. We actually only have 4 EQs left. And he's actually just going to go straight for a nasty plot. I'm hoping an EQ will be able to take him out though because it is stab, super effective, 100 power move, and it is able to take out the Houndoom, so that's good. Um, down goes the Houndoom, get that experience. And Gyarados is going to be his next Mon in, and uh, with that I think I'm going to go ahead and we actually have nothing to resist him. Other than Garantina, I'm hoping it doesn't have an Ice Fang or something like that, because if it does that would be actually pretty bad. but. Uh, here we are with our Garantina. Um, 
Intimidate's not gonna be too good, though, with us. Um, we do have Shadow Force. Obviously, that's what I'm going for. We're gonna vanish instantly and see uh, what he's gonna go for. He actually goes for Dragon Dance, so this could be actually really bad. So yeah, hopefully though, we should be able to take down this thing. He's actually just gonna D-Dance twice, and this is really scary. Um, we're gonna see. Shadow Force is not even gonna do half. Alright, well... Let's go for Shadow Claw, I guess. He's gonna actually go for Hydro Pump, which is just fine because it is a special move. Um, which I'm, I'm much rather take. Um, but I think we definitely need to use Shadow Force because that's not doing that much damage at all. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead, <laughs> Shadow Force. Lucky for us, the Hydro Pump missed, which is so good. Uh, but he is gonna D-Dance one more time. Let's see how much Shadow Force does here. It is gonna almost take it out, and I think a Shadow Claw should be able to take this thing out. And he's actually gonna go for the Hydro Pump, which actually misses again, which is nice. Uh, and Shadow Claw can actually uh, take out the Scarado. So that's good. I was scared there with the plus three or plus four Dragon Dances. Woo! Anyways, next is his Weavile. And uh, with Weavile, I think we're definitely going to go into Stainless Gear. Hopefully it has Earthquake or something of the sort. Uh, if not, I'm going to be kind of mad. But this is actually level 64. One of his aces, if not his ace. We do have Dig, and we also have Stone Edge. I'm going to go for Dig just because it's Stab. Punishment shouldn't do too much as we aren't super attacking. We're more of a defensive mon, as you can tell with our defenses there. As well as a Dark Pulse is going to miss obviously and dig i'm this should be able to take it out because it's stab jk i was gonna say because deep is pretty frail but that's interesting but dark pulse shouldn't do too much uh it does a little bit more though and we are gonna burrow under the ground just like last turn and dark pulse is gonna miss yeah i'm telling you guys my throat is sore <laughs> anyways that should be bye bye for the weavile now and uh, we're gonna gain some good experience and uh, next is going to be the Haunch Crow, which I'm going to go right into Wall Maria for. Definitely no need to do anything else here. And hopefully we can hit a Stone Edge first turn. If not, that could be bad for us, but we'll see. Anyways, we do hit the Stone Edge first turn. I'm guessing that's going to be a KO for us as it is. So down goes the Haunch Crow. I think there's one or two mons left, so that's good. Anyways, his next mod is going to be Crobat. I'm just going to stay in as well. Um, and we're going to try to hit another Stone Edge. Mean Luck's going to come on us, but I don't think it's going to be that needed. As we do hit the second Stone Edge in a row, which is quite nice. And down goes his Crobat. Uh, he either has one more or we just beat him right now. So that's that's interesting. Uh, and we did defeat Galactic Boss Cyrus. Anyways, you're making a mistake. Are we actually... I'll admit our defeat. Team Rocket has beaten Team Galactic. Although, hear me out. I've been trying to stop Operation Strike Back for years. It has never been anything against you or Giovanni. Just the plan in general. You have no clue how dangerous it is to have so many powerful beasts in one area, let alone under one rule. Their powers combined will be devastatingly powerful and dangerous. It could get out of hand very quickly. So I must ask of you, c -Rate, will you abort Operation Strike Back and release all the legendaries back into the world? Or will you undergo... Operation Strike Back and play with fate. What are we supposed to do? You know what? Um, uh, I love Cyrus so much because this this embodies his, his character fully. But you know what? I've got a lot of Team Rocket in me over these last five episodes, so we're gonna go ahead and choose the title name. We're gonna go with Operation Strike Back. Ha. Ha, you think we'd really give up on an opportunity like this? You're insane! Very well, you've made your decision. I may not approve of it, but I will accept it. I may have a feeling this won't be the last time we meet. Um, alright. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That's a fat man just dying because he's dumb. He was standing right next to Garantina. Um... Interesting though. Oh god, this is red. Me too. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Why am I being controlled? Me too, you side strike! I will never listen to a human after what you've done to me. 
Ah, but I can't help it. I must do as you say. Huh. Resist it. Obey. Ignore it. Obey. Ah! No. I said you side strike. You do not control me, human. I may have... You may have created me, but that does not mean you own me. Very funny. The joke's over. Now you side strike. The only joke I see is you. Now be gone. Dang. Uh-oh. We are being used... All right. Um, join me stand against this tyranny. Let us show the human race who's catching you. Uh-oh. So right now we have Cerulean City and Palatown under our control. Our next move is to take over Viridian City and then head northwest to the Indigo Plateau where we can force the Elite Four to resign. Excuse me, sir. I have apologized. As for interrupting you, but it is extremely important. All these legendaries have gone haywire and fled to the Indigo Plateau. I fear we, we will need to go up there and stop them before anything gets too out of hand. Did you guys hear what I just heard? They destroyed the Elite Four and are slaughtering everyone. Parts they said they're on here next, so we need, I recommend we head up there and stop them. Sorry, but no, it's too dangerous. I say we just leave the region and let Mewtwo have what it wants. Hypocrite! Wow. I'm thinking like Archer right now. Stop both of you. We both need to stop them. But it won't be easy. We need to send our strongest fighter in. Whoa, wow, wow, thanks. Sorry to say, but you have to do this for us. You most likely won't survive, but anyways. Uh, you choose. What Pokemon do you choose? What? We have to choose more? Okay, we have Rhyperior King, Sun. Don't you? All right, well, let's see here. Let's go back. Let's go right here. here. I'm not nicknaming these. I don't care. No, because it's taking too long. Let's go Kangaskhan, actually. No, uh, I don't want the Persian. Let's go for the Nino King. That's three, I think. Let's pass on these now. Let's go Marowak. No. So that should be our third or... No, that was our fourth. This is our fifth Mon, I think. Let's go back. Yeah, I don't want the Persian. Let's just go with the New York Queen. No. And there we go. More. And finish. Hopefully those will be the Pokemon capable of saving the world. Oh my god. Operation Strike Back has failed. Good luck. Huh. So we meet again. Alright, much different. I'm stopping nothing to ensure my victory. Blah, Pokemon can be trainers too. This Pokemon has to be the world's strongest trainer. Well, another boss battle with me too. Would like to battle. Has an Articuno level 65. Damn. A war level 70 though. Hopefully we can hit our Stone Edge, maybe. Hopefully we can live an Ice Beam. Oh god. Hit, please. No! Are you kidding me? Alright, well. It's really gonna ice beam us next. And we only have one mod that can eat that, and that's Kangaskhan. So, yeah, I'm kinda scared right now. Yo, can we. Do we have Mega King? We just lost! We just lost! I don't care. We're frozen solid. Unless we can unthaw out this turn right here. Nope, we're frozen solid. Or maybe. We'll see here. Oh, we. Actually, no, we have Sucker Punch. Alright. Nope. Never mind. Really? Did this have to happen? Uh. Let's go into Steelix, I guess. That's probably our bulkiest mon. If not, we pretty much just lose here. Uh, let's go ahead, Stone Edge, though. Let's see, reflect. Can we hit the Stone Edge, please? Thank you. That's quite effective. And that does, like, nothing because of the reflect. <sighs> Can we eat an Ice Beam, please? We eat one, and we miss Stone Edge. Come on. Really? 
Low roll, maybe. Nope. JK. Thrash. I know we outspeed it. That does nothing. All because of that stupid freeze. Are you kidding me? What is wrong here? There is something seriously wrong here. Sure, Marowak can outspeed it, but... Ooh, retaliate. JK, we're dead. There's no way Marowak's surviving an ice game. Exactly. <sighs> That's the end of us. That is the end of us. Really? Why did this have to happen? We outspeed it. Yeah, we need a pair of nice axes now. What? What? Are we adding insult to injury here? Are you like setting off? Oh my god. Down goes the zap off. Guarantina comes in. We have to earth power it. Down we go to Shadow Claw. Well, thanks for watching the series, guys. See you all. In the next one.